Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, this week's video is going to be a short one, just uh, how to replace the bearings on a uh, front steering knuckle of a High Sun 700 side-by-side. -side. I've already gone ahead and removed the steering knuckle to save on time. If you want to see how to remove the steering knuckle, I'm going to have a video coming up uh, shortly on how to replace the ball joints on that same side-by-side. -side. And I'll explain how to remove the steering knuckle in that video, so stay tuned for that one. So this one here is just going to be a short video on replacing the bearings. If you find value in this content, please uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to be notified whenever I post uh, new videos. So let's get on to the video. Okay, so we've got our steering knuckle off and uh, I removed the, the lower ball joint here. And you can see we've got the seal that's uh, really damaged, worn out needs to be replaced. There's also this uh, outer seal here that needs to be replaced as well. To pop these seals out, it's really easy. You use a flat screwdriver. And what you want to do is put the screwdriver underneath the lip of the seal. You could feel it slide in underneath and you just give it a light twist and that seal just pops right off. And we'll do the same thing with the inner seal. You just slip the screwdriver in underneath the seal. You could feel it going in, give it a light twist, and the seal pops right out. So that's really easy to do. So now you're left with the uh, left with the bearings in here that need to be replaced, and whoever did this last time, whoever installed these, packed the bearings full of grease. So usually you use a sealed bearing in here, so there's no need to be, uh, there's no need to put grease in there. They're self-sealed bearings. So what you want to do to uh, to remove the bearings, use a block of wood or something so you don't damage the outside of your steering knuckle. What I do is I use a punch with a fairly square lip on it. You don't want a rounded edge on your punch. And just very gently inside the knuckle, if I clean this up a bit, inside the knuckle you can see there's rings. You see there's two rings there. There's a, a bearing that sits right here. Further down, you can see it right here, that's a, a sleeve in the middle of the bearing. There's a sleeve in there, so that if I go underneath, you can see the sleeve right here between the two bearings. And just past that on the outer edge is the other bearing. So there's two bearings and a sleeve in here. So what you do is if you set your steering knuckle on a piece of wood or a soft surface so you don't damage the outer side of your steering knuckle, you reach in with your punch. You just gently just clip it or hold it onto the edge of the line and give it a light tap with a hammer on one side. Swing it around. Do the same thing on the other side. Just lightly tap it. You want to be really gentle. You don't want to score or scratch the outside of this, uh, the inside part of the steering knuckle where the bearings sit. That, that wouldn't be good at all. So then once I get it started, I sit the knuckle on its edge on this piece of wood and gently with the punch I just tap it a bit on that side tap it a bit on this side and then that uh, that bearing will just pop right out so you can see the bearings that uh, whoever put in here before there's no seal on these bearings they're just an open bearing so that's why they packed them full of grease there's special bearings that you get for ATVs that have a seal along here. So there's sealed bearings, so you don't have to worry about packing the grease in there. And you don't have to worry about water and uh, dust and dirt getting in if it gets past your uh, past your seals. There is a small chance, but it, the odds of it happening are slim. And it buys you time, too, between uh, replacements of your bearings until you notice that you need to replace them. So on the bearing on the other side... This is the sleeve here that sits on the inside of the inside of the housing between the two bearings. So then what you're going to want to do is do the same thing on the inside bearing. So you can see the inside bearing is sitting right here just uh, just past the middle lip on the inside. So then what we're going to do is once again use your punch. Make sure you're resting just on the bearing, not on the inside of the sleeve side of the steering knuckles where the bearing sits. Gentle taps on each side. 
Get that bearing sliding down. Try to keep even, even taps on each side. And then this bearing here is just about ready to come out. It's bottoming out, bottoming out on this piece of wood, so I'm just gonna hold it up a little bit. And just make sure I do only I only hit the bearing. Don't want to hit the inside of the steering knuckle. And then I'll just pop this right out of there. It's almost ready to go. There you go. So this other bearing, same thing as the last one. It's not a sealed bearing. They packed a the grease in there. You can see the ball bearings on the inside there once the grease is out of the way. But uh, not, not the right bearing to use on these things. You want a sealed bearing. Spend the extra a few bucks and, uh, and get a sealed bearing. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll use some brake cleaner. I use this gunk brake cleaner. It works well and it's cheap. It's pretty much all the same kind of stuff. I haven't found one brake cleaner to be superior to the other in quality. It all works the same. What I'll do is I'll spray out the uh, the inside here with brake cleaner. Get this all cleaned up. So I'll finish cleaning this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the uh, the steering knuckle all cleaned up. You can see inside. Hopefully, you can see inside. It's uh, it's pretty clean. Um, one thing that that grease did help with the grease helped to keep rust from building inside the steering knuckle there's a bit on the outside where the seal was sitting but right where that bearing sits that's nice and clean and that's that's important if it was rusty at all i would have hit that with a bit of emery cloth or, or uh, fine grit sandpaper just to clean off that grease but it's actually uh, in pretty good condition so what we've got here is we have the, uh, the inner bearing, the outer bearing, and we have the inner seal and the outer seal. Now the seals are going to be different, and depending which machine you have, they'll be different. So this is the inner seal, and this big lip that sticks out here, this rides, this big lip here rides along the axle. So it's, um, it seals along there as it goes around, and then this seal here goes on the outside, and it sits against the hub. So inner seal, outer seal. So um, what I like to do first before I seat these bearings in is I grab a little bit of lithium grease and I just lightly grease the inside of the steering knuckle. And what that, that's gonna do is that's gonna help seat the bearing, reduce friction and also make it easier to pull out that bearing next time you need to replace it so it's not gonna be as stuck in there. It's not gonna be seized in place. I don't load that up in there. I just have enough, just a thin, a thin film around the outside. Sorry, around the inside. Just a thin film around the inside uh, on both ends where the bearings are gonna be going in. The bearings and the seals. So then I just put this in, just a light, just a light coat. If you put too much, it might make it harder to seat right down to the end it could bind up there um, and the other thing that I do is before I seat the bearings I put a little coat of that grease on the bearing itself it's not going to hurt anything don't need too too much what I'm going to do is I'm going to seat the bearings first once the bearings are seated then I'm going to go ahead and put the seals on. That way I don't put any stress, any more stress than I need to on these seals. If I was to go ahead and put this outer bearing and seal first, then put it down and start banging on it to get this inner bearing in, it could damage the outer seal. And if we do it for the inner seal, well, you could damage this lip here on the inner seal and cause problems before you're even done putting this together. So I'll go ahead and we'll put the, uh, the bearings in first, and then we'll do the seals. And what I do is I always use a block of wood like before, to rest the steering knuckle on so I don't uh, damage the outer section here of the steering knuckle. I'll make sure that's clean. What I'll do is I'll take the bearing, make sure there's a bit of grease around it, make sure it's clean. What I'll do is I'll seat it. I'll just gently tap around the bearing just to get it started. 
want to you want to put that bearing in nice and even. If you go too much on one side first, it'll bind and it'll give you a hard time. There you go. So that started. And then just tap nice gently around it just to get it seated in place. There you go. With that grease that I put on the inside of the steering knuckle, that bearing, once it gets past the slightly rusted section here of the, uh, the seal, it just drops right in. There wasn't much rust where the seal was sitting, so I didn't worry about sanding it too much. But if I would have sanded that down a little bit, that bearing would have slid right in easy the whole way. But this time there is just wasn't that much rust or corrosion on there, so I'm not too worried about it. So again, this bearing here, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, lithium grease on the outside, just to uh, help it slide into place. One thing you don't want to forget when you get to this point, if you slip this bearing in there, you're in trouble. Don't forget the inner sleeve that sits between the two bearings. Very important. What I'll do is I'll just give this a quick, quick uh, wipe down. Clean this up a bit before we uh, we put that back in. I didn't. I forgot to clean this when I cleaned the steering knuckle. So give that a good cleaning. I'm not too worried about these uh, inner sleeves. They kind of they're they're kind of loose in there anyways. I've never seen one really to be super tight. They just kind of sit in there. So what I'll do is I'll put some uh, lithium grease on this as well, just to, to prevent it from seizing or anything. If it does bind up somehow it'll help help it from sticking so that sits right down right down inside so you can see that bearing at the far back you see that uh, shiny part of the bearing ring here what i'll do is this sits just above that that's it it just sits there it's kind of loose in there it's more of a spacer so it sits loose and then what we'll do is we'll put this second bearing in so make sure it's nice and clean again, make sure there's not, it didn't pick up any rust or anything from the, from the work area. We're going to do this here. And again, same thing, you want to start tapping this in, even taps all around. And you'll notice once I get past this rust spot, once I get flush, I'm still even to the rust spot. Once I'm down below the rust spot a little bit from the, uh, the original seal, you'll see this bearing will just drop right down in place. There it goes. So it just got past the, the rust spot. Look at that. Nice and easy. If you tap too hard, you could damage the bearing. I didn't need to. Everything's nice and clean in here. So you can see the bearing. You see the, uh, the two bearings and the sleeve. If you look down in here on yours, and you realize there's a big gap between the two bearings, that means you forgot to put the sleeve in. So take it back out and put the sleeve in. You need that in there. All right. So now that the bearings are, in, are seated in place, what we want to do is we want to put on the uh, outer seal first. And again, we'll do a little bit of lithium grease here just to keep um, help the bearing slide in. Not the bearing, help the seal slide in a little bit easier. Do is sit it on here. Now I'll sit this the the seal cup in. What we'll do is just gently tap it in, just to line it up, just to to get it started. There we go. Once it's started, you should be able to push it by hand to seat it the rest of the way. It just needs to be flush with the outside here. It doesn't need to be jammed right up against the bearing. Just as long as it sits flush to the outside, it's good. So that's the outside seal. That's going to ride up against the hub. And now because this one here sits flush to the outside of the steering knuckle, right? It sits flush to the outside. I can sit it down like this without worrying about damaging it too much. You don't want to be too rough on it. But uh, I'm not too worried about causing damage to it because it sits flush with a steering knuckle. Now for the outside seal, once again, a little bit of lithium grease on there. Wheel and bearing grease would work too, just to help it uh, slide into place. 
So I can set that steering knuckle flush, flat down on a piece of wood, not on a hard surface, nice soft piece of wood. Now this one here, when you're putting it into place, you got to be careful. You don't want to damage this big outer lip here that rides on the axle. So you don't, you want to be careful. You don't want to damage that at all. So then what you do is just start at one end and this one here just by hand, you can guide it in and just push on this outside lip and you should be able to just tap it into place, slowly get it in there. Some people would hit it with a hammer or something, but I prefer to do it by hand. There's less chance of damaging this, this lip if you just go gently just by hand. And again, the, um, the seal here just has to be flush with the steering knuckle. Oop. The seal just needs to be flush here with the steering knuckle. This outer lip will stick out because it's going to drive on the axle. And um, yeah, you don't need to go any further than that. You don't need to jam it right up against the bearing. I do have a bit of space between the seal and the bearing. That's fine. So that's how you uh, you remove and reinstall the bearings on a steering knuckle of a High Sun 700 EFI. Thanks for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. It really helps to grow my channel. If you haven't done so already, Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I post new contents. And if there's specific content you'd like to see, post it in the comments below. I'd be ha more than happy to uh, make a video on it for you. So I'll see you on the next one.